This is Hall of Famer Bobby Lane, one of the main reasons that the Detroit Lions were contenders back in the 50s, allowing themselves to get three championships in 52, 53, and 57, the last against the Browns in a huge blowout. But the problem is now, can the Lions rebuild and be able to make themselves into a championship contender? We'll find out. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Just pulling back again. And a uh, little bit of a different recording this time. We're going back to the old classic NFL 2K5. As if you couldn't tell from the intro I put in. I'll be actually recording this before I do my intro. So if I did a second intro here, I apologize. But you know what? Let's just get down to it. I have had a curse, just like the Detroit Lions were cursed by Bobby Lane, who will be in the intro. I decided that I was going to see if I could break my own curse as well and give this team a title. My favorite team was the Minnesota Vikings, so doing this one is going to be a bit tough, having to face them twice a year. So we'll definitely see what we can do. I have already gone in and made a few additions to the team. Haven't really made changes yet, so we'll have to see how well things go from there. But just to give you an introduction, let's look at the team that we'll be fielding here in this one. And it's pretty bad when your best player is a kicker. So I'll tell you about how far we gotta go with this team. Starting quarterback for this team is going to be Joey Harrington, rated overall 80. So he's going to be somebody we're going to have to try and see if we can build up. Backing him up is going to be Rick Meyer, the 12-year pro. And then Mike McMahon is going to be warming the bench behind both of those guys. We had to get rid of a lot of halfbacks. We had six halfbacks starting off the year. And I decided what I was going to do. Kevin Jones is the rookie for this team. He was the rookie coming into the 04-05 season. So we'll be looking to see if we can get behind him. I also picked up Larry Johnson from the Chiefs to see if he can give us a bit more speed and out of that backfield. And the last guy we've got, Sean Bryson, as he is a six-year pro. We'll be definitely looking to him on things like the kick returns as well. Uh, Corey Celestinger was the only fullback on the team, but 91 rated guy. He's definitely one of the better fullbacks in the league at this time. Picked up J.R. Nicholas to see if uh, we can give Celestinger a bit of a backup if need be. He's more of a blocker than a runner or a pass catcher. Wide receivers decided to make a few changes here. As we have uh, Ty Streets, who will definitely be showing up in the slot, most likely uh, at times. Uh, Scotty Anderson and Reggie Swinton will most likely be on the bench for the most part or come in on the rare occasions when everybody's tired. Picked up Santana Moss from the Jets. I'm sorry, but every time I do a franchise, I've got to have this guy. Uh, then we have Roy Williams, the rookie, one of the better rookies at the wide receiver position in this game, as Charles Rogers is also going to be a veteran we're going to be looking at. So the big four at this one should be a threat for certain. Be looking to try and see what we can do out of them. And with the speed that this team has got, should be pretty good in the deep threat department if we can find a guy that can launch the ball that far everybody on the starting lineup with a 92 including Santana Moss who we will actually have in the slot tight end position is going to be filled up with Stefan Alexander as he will be the main guy there with Casey Fitzsimmons backing him up and then Brad Banta is going to be coming off the bench if need be no telling there. Dominic Rayola is going to be our main center, the key guy up front. Then we picked up Austin King to kind of help fill things out. We'll have to try and re-sign Rayola at some point, and it could be a little difficult. 
Then we've got Damian Woody as our guard. He'll be doing everything he possibly can to block for the quarterback and keep him safe. David Laverne is going to be on the other side with Matt Joyce coming in to be the relief at the tackle position is going to be Stockarm McDougal. He's going to be looking to see if he can help lead block, especially with Jeff Backus being on the other side there. And then Kelly Butler, the rookie, going to see if we can build him up and hopefully make him into a good pass stopper. On the defensive side of things, we have got Sean Rogers, who is going to be a big help on the defensive side. And then Dan Wilkinson, the 11-year pro, is definitely going to be looking to see if he can cause some havoc in the backfield of our opponents. Marcus Bell and Kelvin Pritchett, the old 14-year pro, is going to be backing them up. So we'll definitely be looking to see what we can do with those guys. Robert Porcher, one of the better players on our team at the time of starting this franchise. The pro is definitely on his way down, but he will be a big threat here in this one. James Hall is going to be on the other side of things with Kalimba Edwards being the backup for those guys. Outside linebacker, definitely a position we had to improve on. The one big guy we got here, Boss Bailey. And when your name is Boss, you definitely got to be the boss. As he's going to be backed up at the linebacker position by rookie Teddy Lehman. Lehman's going to be seeing what he can do to try and build himself up. We'll definitely try and see if we can get him into an 80 overall by at least the middle of next season. While Alex Lewis, also a rookie, will be coming in if need be. And Deontay Curry is going to be backing them up. Inside linebacker was a problematic area for our team. We did have Earl Holmes, but I did decide to pick up Jeremiah Trotter. So Trotter is definitely going to be looking there. While we've got Wally Rayner as the third man on the totem pole there. Trying to definitely find some guys that can tackle. So Trotter was definitely a good choice there. As I also look at the speed. Trotter's got a bit better speed than Holmes. And that was one of the main reasons that I grabbed him. Is because I want a good run stopping defense. That is going to be the major key that I'm looking for with this team. Cornerbacks are definitely going to be a problem. Our best player uh, mid-70, Fernando Bryant. He's going to be looking to see if he can stop the pass. Dre Bly, the veteran. I'm not going to be looking too much out of him as his speed is not the best in the world, but he's all right. Andre Goodman's going to be one of the guys that will be coming off for relief. Well, Chris Cash, Keith Smith, and Dana Sidney are all going to be guys that will be looking to stop the pass when they come in, especially on the dime packages. This is going to be confusing for me as one of the better players, Brian Walker, is going to be in there, and then Bracey Walker will be coming in after him at the strong safety position. Finally, rounding things out on the defense, the free safety, Brock Marion, is going to be a big help for us. We'll be looking to try and see if we can help him to develop into one of the best defensive mindsets in the league. And then Terrence Holt is going to be back there backing them up just in case. Best player on the team at the time of starting this thing was Jason Hansen, 88 overall kicker. So he should be doing well at the kicks. So should not have too much trouble there unless we get into about the long 50 or 60 yard range. And then rounding things out, Nick Harris. Hopefully a low rated punter is not going to be a problem for us. We will try and see what we can do there. Now I do have some room that I can pick up some guys if need be. I've got everybody pretty much there where we need to be, so we've got team minimum at the moment, but I've got three other players that I can pick up, so I'm not really sure where I want to go with things. I may wait until after the end of the preseason to find out what's going on. I will probably simulate into the first week of the season to try and see what I can do. As for the free agents at the moment, 
The best rated guy out there, Jason Gildon, is the outside linebacker. I don't feel like we need to pick him up. The only thing about him is his lack of speed, but he is going to be a good run stopper if he gets to it. The problem is he does have good stamina, though, so that's definitely one of the big things that's going for him there. So we're definitely looking to try and see if he might be an option or not. As for everybody else, quarterbacks at the moment are definitely not a good choice as Chris Redman is the best rated guy out there right now with Rob Johnson right behind him and Kurt Kittner. So I seriously doubt I'll be looking to try and get quarterbacks. I've already picked up halfback, but if I was looking at someone else, I might go again with Trunk Candidate as he was somebody that I enjoyed having in one of my other playthroughs as for wide receiver i don't really see a whole lot of guys that i would be looking at a free agency i may try and see if i can trade as there's not a whole lot of names here that i actually would really just crave to go after and so that's basically going to be it let's take a look and see the schedule for the detroit lines in this one after after our preseason you definitely see here what we're gonna do here real quick we'll save this and then we'll get into the actual season and see how that looks and I'm pretty I'm pretty certain that the season will be the same as when I do it so let's just take that with a grain of salt <laughs> but yeah after this thing saves we'll get to we'll get to doing this We'll skip the preseason here and hopefully, look, not what I was wanting to do. So the one thing I'm definitely going to have to watch out for in this franchise will be the New England Patriots. They've got Tom Brady coming off a huge huge Super Bowl win on this one and it's definitely going to be one of those where we'll definitely be tested for certain, especially our defense. I'm expecting the defense to have a little bit of trouble starting off, but if we can just mitigate the run, we should be okay. So, according to the way things set up here, if this holds, and I'm not certain if it will, and if things are right, I may just save it here. But looks like week one is going to be against the division rival Chicago Bears. So we definitely have to try and see if we can do something there. Then the Houston Texans will be next. Uh, Andre Johnson will be somebody we'll have to watch out for. And then T.O. is going to be a problem in week three. Then after that, week four is a bye week. And then we take on Michael Vick and the Atlanta Falcons. Then Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers. That will be a tough matchup. Then the New York Giants will pop up next, so we may see Eli or we may see Kurt. So, no telling there. Dallas Cowboys will be the next match up there. I'll be looking forward to trying to see if I can defeat them. Then Washington is going to be the next team after that. The Jaguars will follow them, and then the division match against the Vikings is not one I'm looking forward to. And then after that, another match I'm not looking forward to with Peyton Manning. And Marvin Harrison, that that's going to be a tough one. Then the Arizona Cardinals, then again the Packers, then the Vikings, the Bears, and then we'll end the season with the Tennessee Titans. So we'll be taking on Vince Young there. So that will be a huge issue. So I appreciate you guys watching. We will get into week one as soon as possible. I may cut down to doing once a week recordings with uh, the way things get in our with the Christmas season and with life itself. So we'll definitely see. I will change up how the recordings do, so I will not be doing a full game here. But what I will be doing is uh, doing video edits to uh, try and make this a very crisp, clean recording for you guys. I hope you enjoy the content, and uh, we'll definitely be back for more if you appreciate I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy the content, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. But we'll see if we can break the curse of the Lions and win a Super Bowl. Appreciate you.
and have a great day, night, whatever it may be. May God bless you.